Okay, here we are. Calendar Mysteries Made Magic by Ron Roy, and we're finally at the last chapter. If you remember from Friday, if you've been following along, uh, the magician, Hippo, also known as Arnold, uh, told them that their mom was playing a trick on them. So now they're like, hmm, we've got an idea. And we're on chapter nine, The Last Laugh. Hippo looked at Bradley. May I ask why you want to borrow my duck? He said. Bradley grinned and explained his plan. I love it, Hippo said when Bradley had finished. I'll even drive you home, but you have to promise that I can watch. Brian, Nate, and Lucy loved the idea too. Five minutes later, they were all piled in Hippo's car with Darlene. Do you remember who Darlene is? She's the duck. Pal gave Darlene a doggy kiss in the back seat. Bradley gave Hippo directions to his house. Park behind the barn so Mom and Dad won't see us, Brian told Hippo. Then we can all sneak in the back door. The four kids, Pal and Hippo, who was carrying Darlene, tiptoed into the house. Bradley peeked into the living room. His parents and Josh were playing cards. Bradley led the others quietly up the stairs. They crept into his bedroom and closed the door. This is more fun than hypnotizing people, Hippo said. Where can I hide? In the closet, Brian said. Just kick my stuff out of the way. But first, he pulled down the covers on his bed. Bradley grabbed Brian's I'm Brian shirt off the floor and put it on Darlene. She let out a soft quack. Do you guys have an idea of what they're doing? The, the duck is wearing the I'm Brian shirt from the beginning of the book. She looks so cute in it, Lucy said. Yeah, much cuter than when Brian wears it, Nate said. Hippo settled Darlene in Brian's bed, pulled the covers up over her head. No quacking, Hippo told Darlene. Brian hid under his bed with Pal. Hippo, Nate, and Lucy squeezed into the closet. Okay, I'll be right back, Bradley whispered. No giggling. Nate giggled. Bradley ran downstairs. To, downstairs. He burst into the living room. Mom, Dad, he cried. Something's wrong with Brian. He's in bed making awful noises. Bradley's parents dropped their cards and followed Bradley up the stairs. Josh was right behind them, chomping on a cookie. They ran into the twins' room. See, there he is, Bradley said, pointing to the lump under Brian's blanket. Bradley's mother pulled the blanket back. Bradley, what are you do? She started to say, but it wasn't Brian looking back at her. It was Darlene, the duck. Darlene looked at Mrs. Pinto. Mrs. Pinto looked at Darlene. Under his bed, Brian let out a loud, quack, quack, quack. Josh burst out laughing. They got you back, Mom, he yelled. Then everyone laughed. Nate, Lucy, and Hippo piled out of the closet. They were red from trying not to laugh. The only two not laughing were Darlene and Pal. They just looked at each other as if to say, humans are strange. And that's it. Um, and a little bit about the author. Here's Ron Roy. He's been writing children books for children since 1974. He's the author of dozens of books, including the best-selling A to Z Mysteries, and Capital Mysteries. When not working on a new book, Ron likes to teach his dog tricks, play poker with friends, travel, and read thrilling mystery books. All right, have a great day. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow with something else. Bye.